it's uh, Fraser Chesterman at Future Print, and I am very pleased to be with Peter Butchens at the IPI event. Peter, good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, it's likewise because it's such a long time since COVID. Uh, strange things happened everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it has been quite a long time, but uh, you're back in action, and you've got uh, a really good face-to-face -face event. Indeed, that was the the basics of relaunching face-to-face -face events because everyone said if you do an online we're out if we if you do a hybrid it could be possible but we want to focus really in-person event and you've got um two sets of streams here yeah. haven't you so as you you know you use this place before this is good venue yeah uh, in Dusseldorf. so the two streams just explain what you've got content wise well, we have, uh, in general, um, topics about uh, screen printing uh, and inkjet, but mainly on functional industrial applications. So we are looking for, with this new conference, in integration into the industry with printed applications. Let's say the next step is additive manufacturing through print. Sure, got it. So. Um, as you say yourself, uh, functional printing to a degree, but also looking at manufacturing. The, the interest here is really about the technology for printing on, uh, printing within manufacturing, is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. The biggest uh, niche that is growing, and what we also uh, saw from a study during COVID times, is that printed electronics, together with functional printing and biomedical, which is not strange with all these self-tests and cancer tests and so on, uh, are the booming niches. And they can be implemented in so many different industry segments, going from automotive uh, in the uh, healthcare sector with sensors, uh, health monitoring and so on. So the limits are so far and give so much opportunities for the futures for companies to go deeper in industrial areas. And as you mentioned yourself there, one of the areas I know that I've spoken to a few people here, printed electronics is one of those areas that's quite interesting, isn't it? Yes, and, and the main focus actually why printed electronics is so important is that we do can print it. Of course, it, it needs still work, but like it's proven that 92% of the real printed electronics is done by screen, and now catching up is done with inkjet. But there are so many things that are underlying why they do it. It's cheaper, you can do it in, in a shorter time, less energy. Um, so it is the benefit for new segments in the electronics. And that's what we are seeing. They can do it, uh, still the, in these times when their raw materials are less uh, easy to get and that's why we need to move forward. It, it's a momentum to grab. Sure. For anyone that doesn't know uh, your organization, ESMA, tell mm -hmm. us just a little bit about it, just so for people understand it. So ESMA has started in 1990 as, as a screen printing uh, association for industrial printing. And the goal was um, to go broader and, and develop also in, in inkjet. Actually, we want to go behind the, the normal graphical printing. It is actually to, to work on these segments which are broad. We are in glass, we are in plastics, um, we are in textile nowadays. So actually it is covering where other areas of associations end. So I, I feel that we still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, sure. And, and going back to talking about those elements, that kind of history of, of screen print, as you said yourself, I see there's you know, a number of screen print manufacturers here. Still important as a, as a technology? Absolutely, because they uh, are opening a lot of opportunities for the digital guys, because they can prove now already production uh, in good volumes for printed electronics, for example, but later on, definitely, uh, inkjet uh, can set the rest of the road of, of these opportunities. Sure. So, um, as you said, well, here we are uh, in uh, Dusseldorf this year, 
2023, what's your plan in terms of conferences, events like this for, for 2023? Uh, so uh, the first one is, is again the glass print, eh? an area as I mentioned. This is about hollow glass, decorations, bottles and, and flacons and perfume bottles, but also some level of flat glass uh, decoration, which is still important. Eh? So for architectural or automotive applications. Um, and then the next thing is normally we go further with our IPI conference. So that's this event? This event, but make it even more new uh, items to create more than networking the opportunities to talk between the suppliers we know from the print industry and the industry itself. Because we need to build bridges between the sure. two. And, and that's that will, the, Sorry to interrupt. That will be here? In November 23. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, and and so we we do feel that that's the right moment to go for a second edition uh, with a further developed concept on this topic. Fantastic, Peter. Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you at our event in Geneva in a couple of weeks' time as CEO of Esma. We we welcome you there, and uh, good to speak to you. Good to be seeing you face to face. Thank you very much. <laughs>